Hi guys, it's Miss Hussein again and I just wanted to come back with another quick update and I have an exciting thing to show you at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Starting on the week of Monday, April 6th, so that's just in a couple days, I will start posting a couple more videos to get everybody start watching me on Facebook and on YouTube so that we can learn how to interact and you can comment, you can post videos of yourself in the comments so we can interact together as a class. So next week, starting with the 6th, is just going to be kind of a practice week. We're going to get used to um, kind of watching Miss Hussein on the camera instead of in class every day. And then on April 14th, the next week after that, Miss Hussein is going to start with a more specific schedule of when I'm going to be posting videos and I'm going to start checking in with families and we can either talk over the phone or we can do a video chat just to make sure that we're still connecting. And if you need any help with your learning, I'm happy to help you during that time. Um, and I'll also be sending what I recommend as far as a schedule um, kind of for your parents so they can kind of make sure that you're doing your work and that we're all choosing to still be learners every day, even though we're not in the classroom every day together. But I will be making videos for us to all learn together and I will post them probably every day. So definitely keep checking the Facebook group and the YouTube channel. Also on my YouTube channel, I will have posted some playlists that I have made, some of my favorite videos that we use in class a lot to learn. So all of our robot counting videos, the one that pops up letters and you have to say what letter it is, the one we love to do in class together are all on the YouTube channel. So make sure that you guys check that out because it has a lot of learning opportunities there as well as videos of your teacher Miss Yusin on there to help you learn as well, okay? Between now and then, well, I know we have a week or so until then, but don't forget you can do iRead on your computer at home or your Chromebook that you just got from school. I texted and um, messaged your parents the information on that so you know how to get on that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I would love to help you get on there and do iRead or the math games that we do in class. So a lot of those things that we do at school on the computers, you guys can do at home too to keep practicing and keep choosing to be a learner at home every day even though we're not together in class. So it's really important that we keep using our brains so we can grow them, grow them, grow them, and be ready for next year. Okay, for now, I have two special things to say. I wanted to let you know that I will be putting together some supplies for you guys. A lot of people want supplies, and I want supplies too, so that we can make sure that we do all of the things we can do at school. So I will start putting together some um, kits to probably drop off at your house. I'll figure that out in a little bit, how I'm gonna get that to you so that you guys can do what you need to do to be awesome, awesome, smart, brained learners at home. Okay, so that's my first exciting announcement. Second, I have somebody to show you. I've told you guys a couple times that I have a pet. Does anyone remember what type of pet Miss Hussein has? It's not a dog. It's not a cat. It's a hedgehog. Has anyone seen a live hedgehog before? I'm about to show you. So my friend's name is Daisy. She is, this is not Daisy, this is Daisy's little bed that she sleeps in. See how fluffy it is? And you can see that on the outside there's a hedgehog. That's what a hedgehog looks like. And you can see kind of that this is moving a little because Daisy is sleeping inside here. But I'm gonna wake her up so I can show you guys, okay? Come on, Daisy. I gotta meet my class. Here she is. Say hi, Daisy. She's a little shy, but she might be in a couple of my videos. She is a nocturnal animal, which means she usually sleeps during the day and she gets up to play at night. Isn't that crazy? So she's not like us. We are awake during the day and we sleep at night, but she, she's used to sleeping during the day. So I kind of woke her up so that she can meet y'all. But this is Daisy. I'll give you guys another look. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> She's probably hungry. Okay, Daisy, say bye, class. Bye, Miss Houston's class. Here she is. This is what she looks like from the side. All right, I'm going to put her away now, but I want you guys, if you want to, that you can post a, a picture or tell your parents to type in what your pet is at home. Do you have a pet? Or if you don't, do you have a stuffed animal you like to pretend is your pet? Miss Houston only has Daisy as her pet, and I don't have any other animals. So if you want, you can comment below in our Facebook group, what pet do you have at home? Have you been taking care of it? What have you been doing or playing with your pet at home since we haven't been? coming to school. All right, I will post another video soon. Bye guys.